what's happening guys welcome back to the channel this is going to be a ufc 266 quick pick vid not going to go into too many details with these fights just quick thoughts and a pick let's get started so jessica andrage versus cynthia calvillo flat out i'm going to say that i give jessica andrage the edge i think she's fought better competition even though her record has been kind of spotty lately she's been losing to the best fighting the best Cavill is kind of impressive. I really do like her striking. She's fluid, those great combinations. She's evasive, great head movement. But I think Andrade is going to be too strong. She's too much of a bully, too much power. And I think at some point she's going to catch Cavill, hurt her. That and the takedowns, the ground and pound. Cavill is going to have to be on her bicycle all night. And I'm not sure if she can avoid all those shots from Andrade. Final pick for this matchup, Jessica Andrade. Moving on to Valentina Shevchenko versus Lauren Murphy. Shevchenko all day. I think Murphy is a lamb to the slaughter, basically, walking to her execution, no disrespect. I don't think she has anything for Shevchenko. Shevchenko via anything she wants. She's better everywhere. Upsets do happen. There's no such thing as zero chance, but heavily, highly favor Valentina Shevchenko. I'd expect a finish. Final pick, Valentina Shevchenko. All right, Nick Diaz versus Robbie Lawler. Fun matchup, rematch after like I think 17 years. Nick Diaz won the first fight via KO TKO. Great shot he landed on Robbie. Who's the more skilled fighter overall at their peak? For me, I'm gonna say Nick Diaz. Even though he's never won a UFC belt, he's won belts in other organizations. He was a top fighter, top welterweight. Robbie Lawler, of course, a legend. Absolute beast, super tough, knockout puncher. Robbie's been on a serious slump and Nick has been gone away for like five to six years. So it's ring rust versus maybe serious decline. I don't know. I'm kind of banking on Diaz coming in somewhat similar to his old form. And I think he's going to get the W in a similar fashion. I think he'll weather the storm from Lawler, work him with like volume striking and boxing, maybe get the TKO, maybe decision. Final pick, Nick Diaz. All right. Curtis Blades versus Jarzinho Rosenstrike. Now, this may be a tricky fight for Rosenstrike because Curtis Blades doesn't care about booze. He fights to win. He's a wrestler. He's going to try to take you down. Of course, he can knock you out on the feet, but standing with Rosenstrike is going to give him his best shot to win. I don't think Blades is going to stand with Rosenstrike. Now, how good is Rosenstrike's takedown defense? It's been improving with every fight. Is it good enough to fend off Blades every round? I'm not sure. Maybe he'll catch Blades coming in, knock him out, who knows. But most of the time when it's like primarily a striker versus primarily a grappler, usually the grappler prevails. So it's kind of like a close fight to me. I could certainly see Jarzinho Rosenstrike catching Curtis Blades, shutting his lights out. But I think Blades might edge it out if he fights smart. If he grapples, spams takedowns, like 55-45 Curtis Blades for me. Final pick, Curtis Blades via decision. All right, the main event fight for the title, Alexander Volkanovsky versus Brian Ortega. Well, to me, Volkanovsky is the more complete fighter. He's the more well-rounded fighter. He has a great fight IQ. Brian Ortega is kind of an up and coming phenom. He's ever improving with every fight. He was primarily a BJJ guy, submission artist, submission specialist. If he gets a hold of your neck, a limb, it's pretty much a wrap. But he's evolved into a pretty competent striker. We saw that in the KZ fight. I was so impressed with Ortega. But I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to catch up to Volkanovski. I mean, Volkanovski went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Max Holloway, who's one of the best strikers in the UFC, period. And beat him on the feet, pretty much. Volkanovski has so much to work with. He could, he could grapple. He could wrestle. He could hurt you on the feet. He has good striking. Not to mention his work rate. He has great cardio and conditioning. We've seen Ortega kind of like pieced up and broken. That was when he fought Holloway. Of course, two different styles, Volkanovski and Holloway, but they both apply pressure and have great striking. So we may see another fight where Volkanovski pressures Ortega. I definitely think he can overwhelm him, give him so many different looks. is going to confuse Ortega. Possible decision win for Volkanovski. I could really see that. Ortega, dangerous. He could catch Volkanovski with something, put his lights out. He could cinch on his neck, choke him out. 100% could happen. But my money, I think, is on Volkanovski. I'm going to say like 60-40 Volkanovski. Not sure if he'll finish Ortega. I think via decision. 
final pick, Alexander Volkanovsky. Anyway, guys, those are my UFC 266 quick picks. Thanks for watching the segment. Drop those picks in the comment section. We could always come back and talk about these fights after they go down. If this is your first time at the channel and you enjoy the content, consider hitting that subscribe button. Like and share. That's important. Helps the channel grow. You guys are awesome for that. And until the next segment, you all take care. Enjoy the fights.